Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a Christmas decorate with me in the kitchen. And then I did a little bit of a haul at Walmart or Price Chopper, and then I bought some Christmas things at Target. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here and show you a quick grocery haul. So here I have these hash brown, I think they're called patties. And then these are the only turkey sausages I like to eat. They're really, really good. Next, I got some um, pizza blend cheese, and these biscuit roll-ups are so good. So easy to throw in the microwave for breakfast, and I don't feel guilty about giving them to my daughter. And then I have these pierogies, um, which make an easy dinner. And then I bought these bacon, egg, and cheese for my daughter to see if she would like them, and she actually did not. And then, of course, my um, tried and true mozzarella sticks. She loves these mozzarella sticks, so I like to keep them in the freezer. And then these are just my favorite, like, Spanish snack crackers. Um, next, I got a huge bag of Honeycrisp apples and then some green grapes. And I like to pick the firmest grapes. I do not like squishy grapes. It's just a thing of mine. I bought some basmati rice and um, some shredded iceberg lettuce. I like to put this in my tuna sandwiches. And then I just got some biscuits to go with the breakfast stuff that I had bought so I can make like a nice breakfast. And my daughter loves refried beans. So I like to have at least two cans in the pantry. Um, and then I love these little potatoes. You can literally use them in anything and they cook pretty quickly. And then I just got some chicken breast strips. I like to keep these in the freezer um, to defrost. And then I always, always keep stew meat in my freezer as well just because we love beef stew here. Um, I got this lemon garlic chicken breast for dinner tonight. The marinade on this is so good. And then I usually just freeze what I don't use. And then my fiance wanted a um, steak. So I got him those. Um, I just got, I stocked up on some rigatoni and some beef stew, um, slow cooker sauce. And then I got the cinnamon rolls. These are so good. These are a must for um, winter. And then some whipped cream. We like to put this in our hot chocolate and sometimes on our um, waffles. And then just some simple creamer for my fiance. I actually don't drink coffee. So, and then I love um, albacore. I was sad that I got the oil and not the water. And then, of course, I just got some canned white corn. I like making my own KFC, like mashed potato bowls. So, And then just some pasta. My fiance loves the rows. I'm actually not a fan of it. I just feel like it's way too chunky for me. And then just some simple Lunchables for an easy lunch for my daughter. And... I got some mashed potatoes. This is just a, such an easy side to put with um, pasta or whatever you're making. And then mac and cheese. This is actually for me because I'm literally the only person who eats mac and cheese at, in my house. Uh, and I love these scallop potatoes. These also make such an easy dinner. And some hot chocolate for our Christmas movie nights coming up. And then I got some Brussels sprouts for our dinner that my fiance wanted to make. And my little one loves, loves raspberries. So I always make sure to grab them at the store. And she's also a fan of strawberries um, as well as my oldest. So I grabbed these as well. And cantaloupe. My youngest cannot have cantaloupe yet because it's too firm, but my oldest does like it. And I always buy this pre-cut. It's just easier um, and it stores so much easier. So that's all I got. And here you can see my little one smashing away. <laughs> hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick um, little like Target haul. I went to Target um, specifically to get these hangers. The little kid hangers, I've been having the hardest time finding them. I used to buy them at Walmart and now it's like impossible to find. And I checked on Amazon and it was 
almost $15 for a pack of like 18 or 20 and these were $2.50. So I grabbed like three um, little packs of them because between my oldest and my youngest, there's just not enough of them. Um, so I was like, I checked online and they were in stock. So I kind of like ran there. <laughs> That's really why I went to Target in the first place. And then I grabbed just a bunch of um, holiday candy. So these are my fiance's favorite. And I actually like these. And fun fact, I this was my favorite candy as a kid. I loved these. I used to get the huge... Um, York peppermint patties. I don't think they sell them anymore, but I used to get the big ones. And then I saw these and I thought, um, those are definitely yummy. So I will grab those. And then my fiance and I both like these. So I grabbed those. And then I was thinking like, well, where am I going to put all this candy? So I grabbed this, um, I forget. There's like a specific name for it that it was called. And they had a smaller one but they were the same price. So this was $10, which is actually a pretty good deal, but they were the same price. So I'm like, if the other one is smaller, why wouldn't it be at least like six or $8? Because I probably would have gotten the smaller one, but it just didn't make sense with the amount of candy that I had because I was like, I could just put like half of each bag in it, but it was the same price. So I'm like, I'm not gonna spend $10 on something that's smaller when I could get something bigger the same price. So I don't know if that's logical. Let me know if you think the same way, but um, I just wanted to get more bang for my buck. So I thought these were really, really, really cool. Um, they're the wrapping paper cutters and I was like, holy moly. So I got two of them for when my fiance and I are wrapping at the same time or just so we don't lose them. I'll probably end up picking up a little bit more. And those were in the bullseye um, dollar spot. And then <clears throat> I grabbed batteries because we completely ran out of double A's. And I like getting the Target ones because they're a little bit cheaper. They're like maybe $2 cheaper and they work just as well. So I picked up double A and triple A. And then I went to put them away and my fiance must have picked up some more AAA batteries because I saw some in there and I was like, oh, well, I guess we'll have extra AAA batteries. Um, I found this wicked cute sign in the Christmas section. It wasn't in the Target dollar spot, but it was only five bucks. So I thought it was really cute. I like that it's like, um, like that galvanized material and it goes with my theme. I'm doing red and green. So it'll be like a nice little pop for the kitchen because I really don't have a lot of like signs for the kitchen. Um, next I got these, um, Christmas tags and I liked this because it matches with my theme. So these were a dollar and it brings six sheets. So that's a really good deal. These were also in the bullseye section. And then I grabbed these as well. Really cute. And then I grabbed these for my Santa's helper. If you know what I'm talking about, I thought they would be perfect. Um, I grabbed this too, these little gifts. And then I grabbed this, like, I think it's like kind of fake snow. I bought like another fake snow thing to make, but I mean, I thought these were cute and it kind of helps when you're not really sure what to do with the whole Santa's helper thing. And then I just grabbed some parchment paper. I usually get it at the Dollar Tree, but this was only three bucks, I think. And it brings a little bit more and I'm starting to run low. So I picked that up and then I picked up my heavy duty paper plates. I, I try to eat on paper plates. Like if it's something that's super messy and I know that I'm going to have like a bunch of dishes to do from cooking, then I try to use paper plates and I always get the target brand and I get the heavy duty ones. Um, and they work great and they're not too expensive. I think this was like six bucks or something like that. So that is my haul. I'm going to quickly put my candy in my candy jar and then I have to find a spot for it in the kitchen, which is probably going to be a little bit challenging because I don't have much counter space, but we'll figure it out. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Da-da-da-da, oh-oh, da-da-da-da, making a 
Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running so I'm super excited because my land's end order just arrived and these are the stockings that I had mentioned in my first video and you guys, I was literally stalking the website because I know during the holidays they usually have like free um, personalization every now and then and they'll do like a flash sale. So of course I came upon it um, one day and I had a 40% off coupon plus free shipping. So I ended up only paying $23 per stocking, which is a steal. I am so excited and look at how pretty these are. Let me just open it and see if I can show you guys like a better, um, view. I might have to get off camera. So let me just get off and open that up and show you real quick so this is the one i got for my 10 month old she will soon be 11 months and then she'll actually be a year a few days before christmas and i just thought it's so cute and it's like perfect for her because it's a little gingerbread and it's just very like juvenile i guess and you guys the quality is really nice it's a thick um like needle point as it's described on the website and then on the back it has this pretty velvet so i can't wait to put them up i'm gonna um put them up and then i'll show you like the rest of them but look at how beautiful this is and then of course here she is what do you think ophelia that's your stocking So this is what all of the stockings look like. They do like vary a little bit in size, I noticed, um, which is okay. Like I'm not, it's not something that's like really going to bother me, um, but I absolutely love them. I'm so, so happy with them. Uh, I couldn't recommend them anymore. I know there's like websites, like cheaper websites that will do personalized um stockings but I just think if it's something that you're gonna be using every year and it's it's if it's something that's gonna be like near and dear to your heart then it's totally worth like spending a little bit of money on and these things like you can like pass down as like your kids get older or um when they turn into parents so I'm so happy with my stockings and you guys just keep watching websites because they're having like great sales for the holidays. So I went into my um, shoe closet in the hallway and I forgot that I had these signs. I got these at Dollar Tree maybe a year or two ago, but they're actually pretty cute. And then this is the Christmas countdown sign that I was talking to you guys about which I think I'm going to put over here in this corner. Um, so we'll just see what I end up doing. I don't know what he's thinking when he rather spend his Christmas all the day with someone else. I guess he stopped thinking about me Yeah, yeah I don't know what he's thinking When he says that he's been driving all night, all day To celebrate Christmas with me But he's not here And I'm not there I don't know what he want now but I don't care Yeah Oh, 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 oh ain't ringing my bells no more Oh, 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 oh He miss out on love and that's for sure I don't know what he wants now And I don't know why he said all the things he said 
to me It means nothing to me now Cause there will be someone Who would not complain to drive all night, all day To celebrate Christmas with me Cause you're not here And I'm not there I don't know what you want now But I don't care Guys, so I want to do an outro for this video, which I'm like so bad at doing. I always wait to the last minute and then I'm like, oh my God, I need to end the video. So I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to do like the next video i'm gonna do like a um christmas um tour i guess like of the house because there are a few things that i did switch around and like things that i added so i want to show you guys um and yeah i'll see you in the next video